This is one of the last videos of this season and um, I know it seems like a short one but I've covered everything that I considered important to give you um, general directions, so to say, to give you um, some orientation um, as a start point. Um, this is not a fitness channel as it is not a channel for all the other seasons that uh, we have covered. Um, it is a channel, as I stated on the very beginning, uh, to give gener generic orientation to people that lacked parenting, that lacked uh, education at home, that are kind of lost in translation and um, don't know how to do basic stuff in life in terms of building themselves up, relating to people and uh, taking care of themselves and so on. Some of these things are obvious for many people who had this good parenting, the, this good home education, but for other people, they're not. And these are the people that I'm aiming to, to touch with these videos because there are lots of absent and bad parents nowadays. And um, there are many people that have absolutely no orientation in life and they have to figure out by themselves and, some, and sometimes they are either not capable or they have bad references or they figure it out and they take the worst way possible. So that being said, um, this season is not going to go much further. We're going to move to another season very soon. So this is going to be one of the last chapters. And this is going to be about your rest. What do I mean about rest? It's not only about resting after working out, after doing a physical activity. Resting time means literally your generic resting time, the time in which you are not doing anything or you are supposed to not be doing anything. Because if in your life there isn't a moment in which you are absolutely doing nothing, literally nothing, scrolling on Instagram, Facebook and whatever is not doing nothing. When I mean doing nothing, I mean sitting or laying and looking at the ceiling and maybe thinking or whatever. This is what I mean by doing nothing and still you are doing something. But uh, I'm trying to say when you are not working, when you are not working out, when you are not watching movies, listening to music, talking to people, uh, scrolling on your phone or whatever, when you literally are exercising osseum, doing absolutely nothing. This is a very important moment for you, for all kinds of recovery that you can imagine, physical recovery, mental recovery, whatever, recovery from work, from a hard day, from thinking, from whatever. And um, if you don't have that time in your life, you are going to find a way, you are going to need to find a way to, to insert that in your daily life, to add that to your daily life. You need this osseum time, this resting time, in order to freshen your head, to freshen your thoughts, to recycle everything that you're thinking, and to maybe get some new ideas, to maybe get some new insights, new thoughts, whatever. The importance of having a moment in your life, in your day, in which you're doing absolutely nothing is crucial. You need at least those 20, 30 minutes. And if you can have more amazing, use them. Because that is the moment in which you are going to be allowing yourself to completely renew your energies, energies, your thoughts, your, your ways of thinking, and so on. Osseum, or this doing nothing, is also very good to test your patience, to test your relationship with yourself to test how much you can stand yourself. Because if you are not able to be alone for half an hour doing absolutely nothing, that means that you are bad company for yourself. If you cannot stand your own self for half an hour without anything else, without any kind of aid, without any kind of relationship, without any kind of activity, that means you are in bad company. And if you are in bad company when you are with yourself, well, we have a big problem. We have a major problem here and that shouldn't be happening. Try to find this time, preferably in the morning, 
or in the evening before going to sleep. Those are good moments. Those are strategic moments. Those are moments that can, in, in different ways, because when you wake up at the very beginning of the day, you are in a specific mood. You have just slept. You have just recovered a little bit, renewed your energies. And at the end of the day, is exactly the opposite. You are in need of that rest. You are in need of sleep. You are in need of recovery. You are in need of... Um, chilling and cooling down so there are different moments but they are very strategic ones and they can bring you um, different results but positive results good results use one of those and if you cannot use them find another one for yourself but use one moment as i said of 20 30 40 minutes and if you can do more that's great to simply sit lay or look at the ceiling and if you tell me sometimes I just go for a walk in my neighborhood, I go for a walk in the woods because I live close to the nature and so on. Trust me, that is a physical exercise. You are doing something. It's a little cardio. It's a little moving. You're doing something. You're getting busy with something. Even if you say it's good for you to think, to freshen your thoughts and so on, you are still doing something. I want you to test yourself, your patience your resistance and your capacity to be on your own and with nothing else um, for a while to see how you react. If you get nervous, if you get tense, if uh, it, you start itching everywhere because you need to do something, um, if you feel horrible, if you feel useless, if you feel the need and the urge to do something and you succumb to that need, to that urge, this is also a test to see how you relate to absence of activity, to non-doing, to the absolute osium, to the not having anything to do. I have seen some videos on the internet of experiments that people make with uh, leaving someone in a room without windows, without furniture, without a watch, without letting the person know whether it's day or night. And uh, how long can this person stand in that situation? Of course, they are provided food, they can take a shower and so on. But they don't know whether it's day or night, how many hours have passed, they have no windows, they have nothing. They are just on their own. And it's crazy how many people freak out in less than an hour, in two hours, and so on. That means they are not able to tranquil themselves, to cool themselves out, to chill and just be with themselves and uh, to, to let the thoughts roll or empty themselves from thoughts or relax in a situation that is apparently adverse because it's not necessarily adverse. They can get out whenever they want. Um, they are not being tortured. Anything is happening. But they just cannot stand the fact that they are on their own. They just have themselves. They have nothing else. And that scares me. That scares me because I had the opportunity during the 2020, um, the 2020 year, no, when you all know what happened, I had the opportunity to do that to myself. And I managed to stay for almost a week without doing absolutely anything, anything. Just staying home and uh, leading a normal life. Of course, I had windows so I could see the, 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 the time passing and so on. But I made the experience of not touching my phone, of just eating, showering, sleeping and reading books. And I, I felt okay. I had no problems with it. And um, if you are not able to stay for at least half an hour without anything happening, without anything going on, then you are going to need the next season. Because the next season is going to talk a little bit about um, books, reading, um, meditating, calming down, and... Um, being able to, to do very little, but producing as much as possible. So I'm going to make maybe one or two more videos for this season concerning your health. And uh, then we're going to jump into the next season. And I will, as usually, make a video to announce it and say a little bit 
um, uh, what's going to happen, talk a little bit about how it's going to be. So see you in the next episode.